Okay, I'm Tim with Mustang Ministries. We have Marty here. He's behind the camera. We have a few people around. We're going to do a uh, trailer loading demonstration today. Well, actually, to start out, we may be doing a little bit of groundwork demonstration, too, before we can even get to the trailer loading. So this is Lisa, and she's volunteered to let us use her horse today. So Lisa, tell us a little bit about your horse and what his history is and uh, where we're starting from. Well, he's a nine-month-old stud colt that was a... Um, uh, slaughter sale orphan that some girl bought and bottle fed and he's pretty well untouched and unhandled except for the last two weeks <laughs> okay okay that sounds good and we'll get started and then I've already played with him just a little bit he's pretty green like she said but uh, this also is um, it's also about our walk with God also too mm -hmm. as, you know, as well as our horses because I tell you, to tell you my story a little bit my I came to God through the horses. I, I was, I, he was able to get to me through the horses, through the horsemanship, through, and everything that we do with horses is so spiritual and it all ties straight to the scriptures and what, what God would want us to do. So, so what we're gonna do with your horse, he's, he's a clean slate. He's pretty green, but he's pretty gentle. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to go, probably not gonna get out of the pen that he's in right now for a little while. We're gonna do just a little bit of groundwork. I'm gonna go in there with my flag and get him to understand just exactly what I need him to do before we can come out here. If I bring him out here now, having very little groundwork done, he'll drag me all over. Mm -hmm. Much like, <laughs> much, much like um, people that are trying to find their way to, to God is like, if, if, if they don't have any basics or any groundwork, they're, they're gonna resist. They're gonna run the other way pretty, far, pretty fast and pretty far. So, so we're, gonna, I agree. we're gonna try to help him out a little bit here. And then uh, I'll kind of explain to you what I'm doing as I'm going along. Perfect. That way you can understand what I'm doing. And, uh, and then hopefully when we get done, I can show you how to do what I've done with him. Um, and that'll be part of your discipleship, your mentorship. You're going you're gonna to disciple to him. We're going to get him started, and then you're going to take him and go on. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep, thank you. We're good. Okay, here we're going to get going. Hey, we get going with Cabo here. He was pretty green, so we've spent a little time in the crell over here where we couldn't see. We were off camera getting a little bit of a foundation, but... We'll show you kind of what that foundation looks like. And he got out here and kind of lonely. We're going to go right back to what we were doing in there. We're going to see if he can lead by. Follow my feel without acting like a... A uh, little bit distracted, but not too much. Here, we'll get going again. So I need him. He's tugging on me. I need to follow a feel here. Hey. We've been working on our foundation, so we couldn't get in the trailer here for 20 minutes ago because we didn't have any foundation to work from. But now we got a little foundation to work from, so we'll work on getting in the trailer. He's a little distracted here. As soon as we get undistracted, here, I'll turn him around. Hey, there. Ah. There. Hey. He's a clean slate. He hasn't done much. Obviously, he's pretty green. So we're trying to make sure we remember a little bit of foundation that we learned in the crowd. But he's lonely now, so he's getting distracted. But we're going to get going here. See him look at that trailer? He ain't going to take much to get in there. We'll ask him to get in the trailer, just give him something to do. There. I'm going to leave him alone when he's, look, when he's looking at the trailer. When he's not trying, I'm going to pester him again. Okay, he didn't, doesn't want to be by the trailer. We'll put him to work. We'll give him a break when he's by the trailer like to see him slow down here. Maybe he will here in a little bit. Get over being wound up about being outside.
There. Looking for a place <laughs> for his feet to get stopped. If we can find a place for his feet to stop, that means his mind is in gear a little bit. We're a little wound up because we're outside now. We're uh, outside of his comfort zone. Hey. <laughs> Looking in the trailer, we're doing the right thing. I'm not going to force him. I'm not going to beat him. I'm going to, I'm going to tell him what a great guy he is. <laughs> kind of looking in the trailer. There, he tried to run over me, so I blocked him. I'm going to put him back up here where I want him. There, there he's looking. So we're going to leave him alone. Up. How many of you have seen somebody up in the trailer pulling, somebody on outside the trailer pushing, got a rope under their butt, doing all kinds of goofy things? You're forcing the horse in the trailer. I'm not going to force him in there. I'm just going to make it a lot of work to not be looking in the trailer. When he's tempted to do something else, I'm going to shut him down and send him back to the trailer. When he's looking in the trailer, I'm going to leave him alone. There, he's going to try to run over me. There. As long as he's trying, I'm going to leave him alone. When he's not trying like that, then I'm going to correct him, <laughs> ask him to try again. Oop. Now we're not trying it again. Now the mistake a lot of people make would be slam the door. Hurry, slam the door. But we're not going to do that. If he don't want to stay in here, that's okay. We're going to let him back out. That's all right. I was trying to try to pet, try to pet him, tell him what a great job he did by getting in the trailer, but he didn't want to stay in there. So that's all right. We'll just make it a lot of work out here. We'll make that trailer a pretty nice place to be. Eventually, he's going to decide, hey, man, I want to stay in that trailer. Now, if he'll stay in here, I'll tell him what a great place this is to be. But if he wants to get out, I'll let him go out, as long as he ain't running over me. It's a nice place to be. Much like our walk with God, when we start to come to God, if somebody was to abuse you mentally or physically a little bit, you'd be gone. So I'm not going to tell him how dumb he was because he wouldn't get in the trailer to start with. I'm going to tell him what a great job he did about getting in here. I'm going to pet him. This is a great place to be. This is a nice place to be. Before we're done, we'll have him backing out of here. a good opportunity to get him gentle too he's a little wound up in here because he's nine months old he hasn't been separated from other horses very much i don't think so he's a little lonely there's another horse over there in the trailer that he's a little concerned about he thinks maybe he should be over there but done done right he'll load for life now
now he's not in such a big hurry to get out of here because, hey, that's a pretty good place to be. Why would I want to get out of here, man? That's a pretty good place to be. It's like our walk with God. Somebody make it comfortable. Somebody show us where we're supposed to be. We're going to stay there for life. Done wrong. We can't get away quick enough. You'll notice it was a big emergency to get out of here a little bit ago, but now all of a sudden it's not getting to be that big a deal. That's a pretty good place to be in there. No use getting out. So this is a pretty nice place to be. I like it in there. We'd have made this a traumatic place to be. He wouldn't. He wouldn't like it. Now, I don't know how many of you see, ever seen a horse bail out of a trailer. It's because they weren't allowed to get out of the trailer. So we're going to ask him to get out nicely, just like he got in. Come on. Come on. We're going to let him think about it. He's going to figure it out. He's going to do it nicely. There. So now we'll just a little bit more work out here. Which groundwork, he can stand a little groundwork out here. It ain't going to hurt him. Now we'll ask him to back back in the trailer. Now we'll see if we can load half. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There. A lot of people have trouble getting their horses to back out of a trailer. If you teach him to load half and then back him out, you'll be able to get him back out. Right. Up. We'll work on that a little bit. See if we can move our feet backwards in the trailer.
Ahnung. See if we can get our feet moving there. See if we can back up. Yeah, I don't think the horse, I don't know if the horse ever backed before when somebody was asking him. There, learned how to move our feet forward and backwards in the trailer. Now maybe we can get out of the trailer. Oh. Oh. There, that was better. See if we can get. Come on. See if we can get back in there. Only half. Whoop. 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 Yeah, let him get past me there. Whoa, whoa, there, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, see if we can back out. Whoa, ah. There, come on, there. Okay, come on, there. Very nice. Okay, come on. <laughs> See if we can get him to back out. A lot of people have trouble with their horses backing out of the trailer. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Sometimes you've got a little bitty trailer, you got a little narrow one, one of them little easelys, little five footers or something, and you need them to back out of the trailer. So we might as well teach him how to back out today. Ain't that great, huh? Ain't that awesome? Look at you. Hmm? Now let's see if we can back out. Come on. Come on. So let's go all the way out. Get your front end. Okay, one more. There. Now, see if we can step back up in here. Come on. See if I can lead you like a farmer would. Nope. I'm going to drive you in. Okay, come on. Come on. Being in the trailer is a lot like coming to our, uh, coming to the Lord. Once we've made that leap, we're in the trailer. You need to have somebody that will disciple you a little bit, and make sure that you do it right, and so you can stay, so it's not a bad experience. That's all we're doing with this horse. We're making this a pretty nice place to be where you can learn something.
lot of horses are startled when they back their feet out like that. <laughs> this is a pretty malleable colt. He's a really nice colt. Very green, but very nice. There. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. I want to tell him what a great job he did. I want to make a big deal of all the things that he's done right. I'm not going to make an issue at all out of the things that he's done wrong, but I'm going to make a big issue out of the things that he's done right. Much like some of the do-gooders in church who would beat you over the head with the Bible and tell you uh, that you're a sinner and you're going to hell if you're not doing everything right. Well, it's not the right approach. What they need to be doing is bringing you along and telling you what a great job you're doing when you're doing the things right. Pretty soon you'll be doing the right things on your own without their help. See if I can change eyes here without getting killed. Pretty good. Pretty nice colt. It has pretty nice in it, huh? Okay, come on. Let's go back up in here one more time. Come on. Come on. Ah. Come on. Ah. Hey, that'll about do it for our trailer loading demonstration today with Lisa's horse. As you can see, this colt's pretty green. He can barely lead, but 
with a little bit of foundation work and right technique, the horse will now load for life. If Lisa ever has any trouble in the future, all she's got to do is go back to the foundation. We'll load for life. We'll never have any trailer loading issues. And we can back out. If you get a narrower trailer and you need to back out, he'll be able to back out. He's learned all that today. And he's just very, very green. He, he, he's barely halter broke. So just to show you what a little bit of foundation can do, both with your horse and with your walk with the Lord. So... <laughs> Get into the high country.